Hello, hello, hello. It's the Watchmen Project. How is everybody doing? Let's get started. Thank you for tuning in. Leaked info. Got a bioweapon on our hands today. Why? Oh, well, a couple scientists came out. They just want to tell us some things. And I just, I gotta say, this new, uh, this new COVID here, but there was a new video posted by Shrimp Zoo, and it was taken down. Yes, um, it's such a shame because I have recorded it, but the audio didn't come out, and I can't put it up there for you guys to see, but Crash is on the way. We already have confirmed that they are literally decontaminating money. I also need to make a point that there was a her huge bird migration and it's heading north now. Um, scientists over radar had seen in South Florida, Miami, the one of the largest migrations they've ever seen on the radar of 118 different species of birds. Thank you all for tuning into the Watchman Project. I hope you can hear me fine. I am going to open this up for chat because I'm using, excuse me, I'm using a different program today. I want to make sure everything's good, went good with us, folks. Actually, maybe I can share this with you, guys. Maybe I can share this with you. And if I can, I will. If I can, I will. It will be an audio. <laughs> so let's do this. Let me see if I got everything working properly. All right, we've got 10 viewers. You guys can hear me fine. Let me do this. Let me pop this up so it's uh, screen sharing. Now, let me see if I could put this in front of the camera. Let me go back here, make this bigger. You guys, this is unreal. So yes, we got fellow YouTubers out there. Um, this is just what it is, folks. Okay, so I got to address this. And to be honest, I am extremely upset. I'm a patriot. I love America. I love New York State. I, w I would die for New York State if I have to. And you know what? Maybe I will. He has an employee badge Maybe there. going to hurt me for releasing for a this medical facility. in the public because apparently New York doesn't want it out. My family works at the Kaleida. Why else do we have this hospital badge? Why all the proof I've been showing you guys? Why does Kaleida, why does New York keep saying that they're not testing people? My family is putting their lives on the line. Me and my wife have a plan that she'll move out if the cases keep coming in because we have little children and we don't want to expose them to it. That's how serious it's getting in New York. That my wife and me are making contingency plans for her to leave our house if more people keep coming in because we don't want to die. We don't want our children to die. But New York State is lying. Why are they lying? Why is Kaleida lying and saying they're not testing people? You guys, why are they lying and saying they're not testing people? This video has been removed, but I, I recorded it somehow here and got the audio. Why is New York State lying? We're patriots. My family's putting their lives on the line for these people. <laughs> I have kids that could die because of this. We're putting, our, we're putting our lives on the line to treat people that are sick, and New York State is lying. Straight up. I'm going to go over one case that's going to blow the doors open. In New York State, you need to start updating the CDC, the John Hopkins, the WHO site, everything. Start admitting the truth. On January 28th, a Chinese man in Tondawanda was picked up by EMS. He was highly suspected to have coronavirus. EMS took him to DeGraff. DeGraff then called Millard Fillmore Suburban, asking what to do. Millard Fillmore Suburban told the imaging department and the head nurse at DeGraff to start taking airborne procedures. They advised them to start using hazmat suits, gloves, and some of the people were suggesting goggles, but other people weren't. 
Boom. So, after the graph had contacted... After they had contacted these people, uh, they brought this person in, suspected to have, you know, COVID-19. What happened? Ah, uh, well, they let them, released them back out into the population. So, now I want to get to a part right here where he says some things. This is why this video was removed. I, I can almost guarantee it. Ed, do we need a million infected before you come true? Because right now, it's not that serious. Right now, it's only been six people so far. But, like, when, when can you come... Right now, it's been six people in the medical facility him and his wife work at. Okay, now, we just need to keep in mind that this is just New York City, all right? So now, I, I, I want this to be stated right here. Listen to me. Hanawanda Fire Department's Facebook post saying they picked up somebody with coronavirus. It's been taken down. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm getting, like, I'm getting so frustrated that, my, that I have health care workers that I love they're treating people with an extremely dangerous disease. Oh, I'm about to show you guys the all of it. They get, yeah, they're this burning is, cash. It's starting to get out of hand. It's starting to get ridiculous. I'm making a call out to the young lady that took the image of the man on the 28th. If you can get a hold of me. And if her boss, that her name starts with a D, if you can get a hold of me too. Because I'm getting sick of New York and Clyde lying about testing people and having confirmed and suspected cases. You both know who you are. I'm not going to release your names on this video, but here we if go. If New York State doesn't start admitting the truth, I'm going to start admitting. I'm going to start saying names. If 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 New York State and Clyde doesn't start coming clean, I'm going to start admitting names. I'm going to start releasing videos that prove this. If they don't start coming clean, this is starting to get ridiculous. The hospitals in Buffalo, the authorities need to start telling the truth about what happened. This is utterly ridiculous. It's utterly irresponsible. All right, so that's where I'm going to leave that at right there, and then I'm going to pop over here and give you guys what I got because you know I've got a lot to say. Uh, so, yeah, first off, the video was down. I'm sure he got a strike for that. Um, but uh, it's, it's really not that bad. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I've seen a lot worse videos. <laughs> But here we go. So you guys need to see this right here. S right here. Bow, 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 bow. Live updates. Over 151 million Chinese are under coronavirus lockdown. Why was that 12 hours ago? You mean additional 150 million? They're almost at 700 million, ladies and gentlemen. Coronavirus is what? 20 times more deadly than the flu? Question mark. The death toll. That article was posted an hour ago. It is more deadly, they said. So look, coronavirus nearly double <laughs> with no end in sight. U.S. coronavirus cases double with no end in sight. Well, what are you talking about U.S. cases? Yep, 16 minutes ago. Here we go, folks. Um, so the U.S. coronavirus case nearly double with no end in sight. This is for the U.S., okay? Confirmed cases deadly. Uh, coronavirus in the United States almost doubled over the holiday weekend thanks to the messy evacuation Americans from the cruise ship. Yeah, because because of, of the people on the cruise ship, they evacuated 328 American passengers, leaving 61 others behind who preferred to stay on the ship. We're finally getting answers about these people who wanted to stay on the ship, which is ri ridiculous. So anyway, this cargo jet. So what happened? Well, 14 people who ultimately got this. I mean, and it goes on and on. Now we have official 20... I, I told you, within yesterday uh, or today, they were going to release it. So now the New York Times told the New York Times... Let's go over here. What are they saying? They're saying that 29 corona, uh, people have coronavirus in the U.S. That we are officially at 29 people. Uh, where Where is it? Remember, we only had 15, but they're adding these people to it now, and I said that they weren't adding that yet. Uh, but they did. They did as of yesterday. <laughs> but this, uh, I can't believe this right here. So as all this is going on, Apple's done for. They're, they're not producing anything. Coronavirus update. First group of Americans emerged from the quarantine. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let's go right here. 
So my weather, I have an emergency alert system on my email account. So the same people that warns me that the flash flood was coming to Tennessee sent me this. This is an alert uh, alert from emergency assistant uh, place, like an emergency health alert. The coronavirus and how it spreads. Why is an emergency alert system? I got an, an emergency alert just like this. Thank you for subscribing, Bella Stars here. But yeah, an alert like on your phone for, you know, presidential alerts, whatever. Uh, people in Tennessee, I'm not the only one. My neighbor got this. Everybody else got this. This is a health alert warning you of the coronavirus. This is no joke, folks. This is <laughs> their... Uh, uh, letting us know now so look this I mean this is what we're dealing with <laughs> they are decontaminating cash but right here Chernobyl like response by China means the worst is yet to come from the coronavirus this is Raymond James all right right here China's delayed reaction to the coronavirus outbreaks appears to be what sowing real concerns and so let me take you to the big stuff bow this is where the leaked information is all right well who leaked it well, we finally got a lab technician. This is confirming uh, coronavirus lab leakage. This is a bioweapon. Been trying to say this. Several channels have been, and we finally get what we want. Why? Because a Wuhan lab affiliate with the Chinese Academy of Science, he, he sought to dispel the rumor that it was made and leaked, the highly infectious uh, pneumonic virus that led to still raging global outbreak. Well... While Chinese President Xi was briefed about this public health threat by the Chinese Center for uh, CDC, Chinese CDC and Prevention, early January. So he's known since early January. Before, remember, we didn't even hear about it till what? January 19th, 20th, somewhere around there is when it went global. So look, the Wuhan Institute of Virology located in the provincial capital of Hubei province. It's who by, which is ground zero of the contagion, has been uh, thrust into the media spotlight by the allegation last week that it leaked biohazard age biohazardous agents. Yep. Now what what happens is is this technician so post circulating on WeChat, Waibu claimed that this uh, that a researcher at the institute was the first to be infected. So that goes back into last year of 2019. Who? A researcher. One of these guys working at the labs was one of the first ones to contract it. A female virologist and a graduate from the institute referred to as what? Patient Zero. Had never visited the city's shambolic wet market, also known as the zoo, where a range of wild animals were sold, the market has been identified by the authorities as the most probable source of the deadly pathogen. But it's not. She works there. She is ground zero patient number one. She, it's from the bio facility. So all these rumors about it's snake juice or whatever, bat soup, it's retarded. So finally, that's over with. We are no longer dealing with that. As... Uh, and in the U.S., first off, they are, the tests don't work properly because they don't know what the virus is. And people that keep rebuttaling this, I don't know what the virus is. Y'all don't know what the virus is. We've never looked at it. We have to go by what they tell us, and it's all BS, everything they tell us. Okay, so China is literally destroying cash now to fight the coronavirus. New government digital currency uh, mandate coming. See, this is what I'm worried about. Oh, it, it, it travels through cash. we got to get rid of the cash. Now we all have to go to your bank card. This is how they will institute a mark of the beast, folks. Th th that's the easiest way to do it, is digital currency. And another sign that the Chinese government is resorting to desperation methods in order to contain a rapidly spreading coronavirus. Is this something that you do? over 70,000 people being affected. I don't even see the United States doing this. 70,000 people infected? The U.S. wouldn't even do it over 70. We have millions of people that catch and are infected with the flu. 62,000 that die annually and we don't get rid of our cash. We don't build 
thousand bed hospitals. We don't build, you know, containment facilities and then, uh, you know, go jerk people out over this. So China definitely wouldn't. It's, it is an affirmed bioweapon that, that when you have it or an area has it, they pull you out of your house because it's like having a weapon on you. Then they, they're burning the notes uh, so, with some cases they're decontaminating them they're defumigating them spraying them and some of the money has been burned but they're resorting to this destroying paper currency leading some to believe that the mandate to adopt digital money uh, Beijing can control is coming uh, yeah I mean I can definitely see it well the Epic Times says the new measures announced by People's Bank of China February 15th See, how come we're just now hearing about this and it's February 15th or yesterday? Yesterday was the first time I heard about it. That's the 17th. That means they've been doing this for three days and we're just now hearing about it. Uh, but there's that. So the only thing I want to get across is this. I've got some, I got some groundbreaking stuff for you guys. So, you know, like I always do, this Chernobyl-like experience that is happening <laughs> with the coronavirus... Would you load, dude? Would you load, dude? <laughs> now, it's probably having trouble loading because this stuff is very, very important. You guys have got to see this. So the U.S. military discusses the future of weather warfare. This is an uh, NMOD ban 1997. Well, what is it? Weather modification using carbon black. Why is it playing stuff? The hell? Sorry about that, folks. So here we go. Right here. <coughs> Advisory Committee on Weather Control. Remember I told you that this was... They put all this public advisory committee on weather control held in the first meeting in Washington, D.C. on December 18th, 1953. This is when they started doing weather manipulation. It was getting passed. Uh, I, c I could tell you these quotes and all that, but I don't need to. Most of you guys know what's going on. Here's papers published back in the day. This is where the real evidence is. Rain as a weapon through possible uh, by U.S. scientists. What they're talking about is using the weather as a weapon against Russia. Big, big problems with Russia. Everybody knows this. So, I mean, this was all in the news. Look, we're going to use follow us on Facebook weather modification history. So, uh, da, 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 da. it may someday be possible to cause what? Uh, torrents of rain over Russia by seeding clouds moving towards the Soviet Union or it may be possible in an opposite effect is desired to cause destructive droughts, which would dry up food crops, uh, overseeding those same clouds. Now look, re weather control might play part in future war. They predicted this forever ago. So how many uh, weather attacks have we heard of? None. How many do you think they've carried out that we've heard of? That's actually, I'm, I'm sure they've done at least one or two, right? Of course they did. Of course they did. 1954. Washington, D.C. Weather control in Russia might be possible by the U.S. Cloud seeding may someday be useful. Powerful weapon of war. Washington, D.C. It may someday be possible to cause torrents of rain to Russia. See, same thing. I mean, they just kept doing it. And they kept telling the population, like, yes, it's cool. We can do this. And as you go, I mean, it doesn't stop. Popular science. Now it's newer papers. Weather is a weapon. Okay, they are using it. The control of Earth's weather and temperature is within the realm of <laughs> practicability now, says Dr. Joseph Kaplan, chairman of where? International Geophysical Year. <laughs> These and other scientists make it clear that weather control is a challenge to be faced in our lifetime. Used widely, it can turn the Earth into a Garden of Eden. Uh, I think they're using it to turn it into a Garden of Hell. Because that's what it's, uh, and then we gotta, I gotta take you over here. So weather manipulation, they're able to uh, do cloud seeding. 
um, the cloud seeding that they are doing here here's popular science member popular science is still giving us most of our headlines today do they talk about weather modification now no they don't because it scares people here they talked about it in 58 they talked about an enemy able to change our weather could reduce us even without a war to a second-rate nation and right here it's saying look the sun radiates ultra short wave energy the sun what radiates ultra short wave energy short wave ultra short wave energy like fifth generation I mean you guys they're shooting us dude straight up period we'll come back to this but now we get over here proving that what that H1 mnemonic plague outbreak this is the site I've been using uh, coming to but the main thing that needs to be stated is this that we have been known for what spreading pathogens such as H1N1 f swine flu viruses uh, over the entire globe population at risk and Indian Nigerian Air Forces has ordered and forced the landings of two Ukrainian AN-124 aircrafts were initially identified as US military one examination of the landed aircraft of the Indian and Nigerian intelligence agency reported that filed oddities about the structure and contents of the aircrafts themselves. They were carrying waste disposal systems to report said could hold in excess of 45,000 kilograms, which is equivalent to 100,000 pounds of what? Technology sophisticated network of nanopipes led to the trailing edges of the wings spraying like you would see okay uh, and horizontal stabilizer for dispersing the contents of waste tanks in an aerial type mist do you see what they're saying and then look but they're saying look these furious demand made this uh made by the United States to both India and Nigeria. They made us lower our planes. This is it. They said, look, come on, what's going on here? The planes were odd. They're saying what was odd about them is they had 100,000 pounds of weird substance on it. It was a, too technologically advanced for them to know with nanopipes. Remember H1N1 swine flu? This is from the European, uh, U American and European attempt to conduct mass genocide via the spread of H1N1 flying uh, swine flu virus, which has put the entire globe population at risk. And we do this for fun. I'm telling you, it's not a joke. Like I said, and then we can always go back to just the toxins we use over here. But uh, the, if you don't think that they have these viruses on hand, they've got all the patents and everything for them. But they, they released right here um, a fire extinguisher. They put some in a fire extinguisher. 2,000 people were infected. 1,500 died. <coughs> 3,000 were hospitalized. And they had flu-like symptoms. And it was like a pneumonic plague. Very contagious. Like a pneumonic plague. Alright. So I can't even begin to tell you how ridiculous this is. And it continues to go on. And as we do, uh, back to the nanopipes, we go right here. Here's these, the initial, what we have here. Why are 17 to 12 people in Washington State being monitored for the coronavirus infection but not tested? This is just now in February 18th, uh, released by, it just updated. 712 people in Washington State. Also, I got to note that there's, 346 people in the state of Tennessee that are under observation but not tested and it's for the coronavirus. Coronavirus propaganda coming out of Washington State is starting to mirror the discredited lies of communist China. According to health officials in Washington, only one person has been confirmed infected. It was Washington State. 712 people are being monitored for possible infections. Hmm. Yet it appears uh, virtually none of the 712 people have been tested for the virus. According to the Washington State Department of Health official website, which reveals that only 25 people have been tested in the state. Here you go. Here it is. Positive, one person. Negative, 24. We only tested a total of 25 people. What is happening here? 
but now they have 712 people under um, being monitored for the coronavirus. This is what we're dealing with, folks. This is what we've been dealing with. <laughs> but it's it doesn't it doesn't end there either. It just does not end there. Uh, the, these rumors of it being leaked as a bio weapon. <laughs> Uh, we knew this was coming. Like I said, Senator Tom Cotton is the one who began this this whole thing. I want to come back to the popular science, the weather modification. So I went here to show you that, yes, we do put H1N1. Uh, that's not just H1N1, but viruses in general. We do this, okay? Active, the chemtrails, look, in the past few months, hundreds of bloggers around the world have reported increasing frequencies of chemtrails and aviation activity over their skies and regimen of training or a pre pre preparatory phase appears to be a common theme. Yeah, I mean, everybody says it. Oh, there's this, that. Barium salts, I would play that video, but it's we don't really need it. So they do this. Considering the uh, quantities of immunotoxins that saturate our food, air, and water, and medications, including vaccines, you know, everything we deal with you can still come over here and you can see Lodi News I haven't heard of them ever but look red central of weather held threat Russia is pulling ahead of the US warns the senator said that Russia has uh, red control of weather to help the threat this is in 1958 what do you think they're able to do now ladies and gentlemen look Another article, weather control research okayed. Well, when was this? The 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 Gans, Gansden Times. I don't know. It doesn't even say. It just says right here that they can uh, subject to drought and flood. The foundation to carry out basic research program at weather. Eisenhower signed it into law Saturday. I mean, it just keeps going and going. It doesn't stop. So we conclude that the initiation of large-scale operational weather modification programs will be pertinent. What's this? What you got here for us? Sixty-one, President Eisenhower, farewell Ladies address. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Good evening, my fellow Americans. We now stand ten years past the midpoint of a century that has witnessed four major wars among great nations. Until the latest of our world conflicts, the United States had no armaments industry. American makers of plowshares could, with time and as required, make swords as well. But we can no longer risk emergency improvisation of national defense. We have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry of vast proportions. Yeah. Added to this, three and a half million men and women are directly engaged in the defense establishment. Now this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new in the American experience. The total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city every state house, every office of the federal government. We recognize the imperative need for this development, yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. Our toil, resources, and livelihood are all involved. So is the very structure of our society. Uh, yeah, and then as you can see, nothing had happened except for nothing but planned wars. I keep telling you guys, we've never won a revolutionary war. We didn't win Vietnam. The only thing that happened is we killed a, too many people, period. That's all there is to it. And we got paid for it. Both sides of the war benefit from it. They get their population growth lowered. And we get money and resources. And he's saying our whole lives and, oh, it's even spiritual. It's even spiritual. Strike fear into the hearts of our ancestors at this point. And uh, so why? So they can build mass, just vast vats and uh, just halls and cargoes and military bases full of missiles, bombs, weapons. I mean, 
in the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties. You guys can see the process. prompter at the bottom too, right? We should take nothing for granted. Only an alert and knowledgeable citizenry can compel the proper meshing of the huge industrial and military machinery of defense with our peaceful methods and goals. Oh, peaceful so methods and goals of the industrial militarized complex where we militarize everything before we give it to you. We shall propose further cooperative efforts between all nations in weather prediction and eventually in weather control. Oh, well, thanks, JFK. Yeah, he just said too much. That's why he ain't around. Winnipeg Times. LBJ says it's time to change the weather. Yeah, I bet it is. Control of space means control of the world. From space, the masters of infantry would have the powers to control the Earth's weather to cause drought, flood, change the tides, and raise the levels. I mean, it goes on and on and on. I can't. Here's That's what they use. These are the cloud seeding efforts. All right, look right here. Hearing Committee on Foreign, <laughs> Foreign Relations United States Senate, not to Fifth Congress. Any other hostile use of environmental modification techniques? Wow. Okay. Convention on the Prohibition of Military or any other hostile use of environmental modification. And they keep doing it. Oh, yeah. Here's a good one. The race for Star Wars weapons. The United States and Soviet Union are engaged in a deadly race to develop Star Wars weapons. Like laser beams and man-made lightning bolts. I showed you guys the lightning gun. Top secret plans to call for mounting them abroad. Future spaceships. Indeed, the Space Shuttle Columbia may be the forerunner for future galactica-like battleships. But if the United States is ahead in developing... See, it's all about like, oh, if we don't do this, we're going to die. We're all going to die. Or it's either in public safety, public health. Or it's in money. Just like with 5G, what are they saying? We've got to beat China. If we don't beat China in the AI and 5th generation rollout, we need the red tape cut. If we don't do it, China's going to take over. And then China gets a freaking plague put on them? Yeah, guys. This isn't from a bat. It's not from a snake. It's nothing like this. I mean, cloud seeding continued. You can just see it. Navy create destroyer clouds. I don't have to keep showing this. Then we get into direct energy weapons. I can't continue this. Travel at the speed of light. Direct energy weapons. Sonic microwave laser. Non-lethal uh, warfare. Non-lethal or less lethal. Remember, I told you we did a video on that. Harp in the sky seekers. Dave Hodges. There's all kinds of stuff on this, man. A great video. So I'll put this uh, in the description. You guys go check it out. But it brings us all back to this. Everything. This I can't believe just how much this has on it. So yes, when they conducted Operation Top Off and the Top Off Two, these full scale exercises, the Perry Plague, they don't have it anymore. But they, uh, the Interpol, okay. Notice that we have inter. Uh, here, let me just go ahead. I want to go the Chernobyl-like responses. Yes. Okay. Now I need to go back to the email. I need to pull up. I want to show you guys what the heck's going on. Now, for those of you, did you watch? Anybody watch the series 100? You know, I TV's not the best way to go, but they hide stuff in there because they are trying to predictively program us. Do I need to go to the next page here? Los Alamos Laboratory Highly Contagious and More Effective. Yes. Let's just bring this up. This is a good one too to show. Above top secret Los Alamos Laboratory Highly Contagious and More Effective than initially thought. Okay, so here's the PDF file for this. Like I said, <laughs> It's the National Laboratory right here in New Mexico. 
Maybe I gotta close some of this, man. Let's close natural news. Goodbye. Now, this nonlinear studies, da da da, this and that, Wuhan and other. Why is all these pop ups happening? Due to closure of the Wuhan facility, 1918 uh, influenza. They're saying that this was the predicted R naught value was 2.3 to 3.0. They're saying that the new one is this 4.7 to 6.6. .6. That's a lot, ladies and gentlemen. This is ridiculous. They're saying before the control measure, apparently these control measures China's taken has lowered it. And the if they can keep everybody contained or whatever, and let's just say this, because you're coming in contact with less, less people, still a 2.3 and a 3.0 is still bigger than the 1918 influenza. And this is just my opinion. I think the influenza from then is not, uh, I think that's what we're dealing with every day. And then you know who that was. This is Shrimp Zoo. And he is, I just played his video there for us at the beginning. Now, I will be able, I will be able to keep that, hopefully. If I'm able to keep that, we'll be good to go, folks. So, let me check in on you guys, see how you're doing. Actually, I can't go into chat, so I gotta do this. <laughs> oh yeah, commutes prison sentence, so Trump let some NFL, uh, player from the 49ers go commutes the prison sentence they put us in oh petri dish this is them they put us in a petri dish quarantine comes under fire after the coronavirus here we go coronavirus cruise quarantine draws criticism after more passengers oh i gotta do this callie sent me this thank you callie we love you Come check this out, guys. Come with me on the ride. This is what's happening. We have uh, a text from Mr. Abel here. Where is it? No subject. Yeah, here it is. So David Abel. Him and his wife, okay, they were took off of the cruise. They were supposed to go to a hospital. It says, frankly, I think this is a setup. We're not being taken to a hospital, but a hostel. That's where partners are sent, waiting out their quarantine. We don't, no phone, no Wi Fi, and no medical facilities. I really am smelling a very big rat here, waiting for the transfer now. And then he had responded again. <clears throat> there is going to be a time of quiet. We have been uh, proved positive and leaving for hospital soon. Do you know how sad that is for him and his wife to be testing positive? I don't know if that means that they're positive for the coronavirus or they are positive happy. But I think it means one of the two. That's all I can state. But to have no phone service, and the guy's been sending videos, this is a deliberate attempt to get the phone out of his hand so he don't get to report anything else. Um, another thing that I wanted to report on, that uh, there's that employment verification, that's not no. There is a rumor going around that the oldest woman in the world, now this is the only person, okay, it has been disproved and I argued this the Bible says that God said that I can, I will not leave my spirit with men I will remove uh, remove this from men for they are mortal they don't need to live over 120 years your age and our lifespans have never um, reached past 120 years well people are caught up in magical thinking because the world's oldest woman is a fraud and all I can do is say that they said she's 122 when she dies. I looked into it, and there is more evidence. What it is is this lady right here. Yeah, she made it to a ripe old age of uh, 117, but she picked up as her mom. Her mom died when she was 36, and uh, she took her mom's identity 
Um, and it says claimant had actually died in 1934. Uh, and then at the age... Uh, According to official records, this was when Yovana had lost her life, age 36, to pleurisy. At this point, which is crazy, pleurisy is like a uh, a freaking pneumonia. Zach alleged her daughter as assumed her identity. They looked similar, and she kept up the pay, uh, pretense for more than 60 years. Why would somebody act like their mom for more than 60 years? Well, this, this uh, Russian dude tells you, because back then... Right here, as high as 35%. As Zach admitted, there were no smoke and gun, but together, these pieces of circumstantial evidence, um, right here, which suggested that a plausible motive that Yovana had taken her mother's place in order to avoid a punitive inheritance taxes, which during the interwar period has ran as high as 30%. She did it to save money on her mom's what she left behind for her. But Zach doubled down in response. Okay, Based on general rejuvenation research in uh, January of this year, it compiled of the dossier of 17 pieces of biographical evidence supporting the switch theory that this is her daughter, including unacceptable physical differences between the young and the old. She had a change in her eye color from dark to uh, green. Then, uh, discrepancies in the verbal testimonies she gave while in the retirement home. She claimed that she, to have met Van Gogh, uh, Van Gogh in her father's shop when uh, Jeanne's father had been a ship builder. So, how you met him in the shop, but he's a ship builder. No. He also claimed that, that there had been no public celebration of her 100th birthday. Which is huge. And exactly would be that the daughter, when they did the 100th birthday, there was no celebration of that because she had forgot when her birthday was. She only knows when hers is. So the 100th uh, birthday wouldn't have that came. So, you, I mean, the only reason why I'm showing you guys this is I'm just proving that this is another example of someone trying to discredit the Bible. The only reason why they would say that anyone is over the age of 120 is to directly disprove the Bible. Prove me wrong on the Bible. Give me any other woman but her. If we live older than 120 and God didn't sever us from that, there should be hundreds of people. We're 7 billion people on this planet. Give me 5 people. Just give me 2 people that are over 120. There ain't. There ain't. Not in our recorded history. Not since the flood. Not since the flood. It just hasn't happened. Methuselah was the oldest to live, and when he died, his death brought destruction, the wrath of God. And I, I honestly believe that. And the same thing here. I need to get uh, need to get back to this. Now, what I want to do here is I want to get the FEMA guns up. Told you guys I won't let you forget this. Also, I'll probably be showing up on... Uh, Locked and loaded with Justin. Hopefully we'll be able to go over there. I don't know if it'll be today or when, but I will let you guys know and uh, take you over there. Hopefully you guys could go show some love. That's how we got all the new subscribers. We got like 200 subscribers from them, so I just want to give a shout out to Locked and Loaded. Everybody go show some love over there to Justin Locked and Loaded. He does, It's a truth channel. Uh, he also has trolls attacking him just like all of us with this coronavirus isn't nothing different than the flu when I just showed you from the beginning that you got I mean shrimp zoo is enough for me with the medical uh, ID but some people need more and I even showed you that they're saying it's 20 times more deadly than the flu and it's just common sense. Do you think they would start? It's all about getting us rounded up. That's why I want to get to this. And the FEMA doing this, it's not about them buying the guns. It's about... No, no, no. We're not using this. That guy like productions, I swear that you're using God's name to get people to freaking give them money. And you got to like go into this site and everything and allow them to track you. No, not doing it. So FEMA bought these guns. We told you about it also in this article. 
what's nice about this is this was um, by Michael Baxter on January 14th, 2020. So it's still fairly new. This isn't like some year old discovery. They just bought these guns. Why? In early January, also note that in early January is when Xi Jinping or whatever had found out that the coronavirus had hit China and it was going to be bad. It also tells that they have purchased <coughs> Brazilian hydrogen cyanide from, uh, from a Brazilian chemical f uh, manufacturer. Hydrogen cyanide is no different than a gas to completely demobilize somebody for disarmament, demobilize and reintegration officers that the UN are hiring. And like I said, we can we can completely link and put these people together. Interpol, which is European countries like Belarus, da, 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 da. well, Europol, the UN Office for Disarmament Affairs, the UNODA, the World Health Organization, the WHO, and the European Center for Disease Control and the European Commission of uh, Directorate General for Health and Consumer Affairs. The only thing I'm trying to say is that the UN and the World Health Organization working together, and then let me go right up here. Illinois Emergency Management Agency. That's FEMA's branch in Illinois. So they work together. So they're buying guns. They're told, I'm assuming that not the 16... 1.6 billion rounds is enough for 20 plus years of war. 5.56 and 9 millimeter ammunition. This stuff is ridiculous, guys. It doesn't do anything but prove that they're about to mobilize on the streets. What else did they do? They bought resistant trucks and not uh, their mine resistant protected. They spent six million dollars a pop. Up here, they're saying it was uh, 600 million dollars on heavy armor personal carriers. And they also spent $50 million on new uniforms. So $600 million at $6 million a pop if these new carriers reparated from the Iraqi Afghanistan theater of operation. It's also took delivery apparently through the Marine Corps System Command Quantico. Norinco is the company that they bought these guns from. They also, besides these 5,000 rifles, you need to know something. Like I said, the, the Series 100 talks about the world being radiated. There's so much radiation on Earth that they have to go and live in outer space like Zuckerberg, all them are doing. The world's radiated. Why? Because fifth generation, sixth generation, seventh generation radiation? I don't know. But this show directly links everything. The name of the place. All right, now we, this is what's creepy about it. Okay, Mount Weather has been their facility since 1979 beneath Mount Weather. Look, I'm just going to go, I'm going to take y'all right there. We're going to do this straight up. One hundred Netflix. Now this series, guys, is completely ridiculous. The world has been <clears throat> the 100 right here. Here it is. Ta-da. Come on. Show us. Internet Movie Database. Let's see what it is. The 100. All right. So, as you see, it's pretty gruesome. Also, they got all of this demonic-looking stuff right here, this ritualistic uh, you know, it's almost like a raw shack picture with Rambo, uh, purple and stuff like that. Then they got the, the, the Tartarian or the star thing right here on the bottom. Look at the cover of this show. So sent 97 years after a nuclear war has destroyed civilization when a starship housing humanity's lone survivors, uh, 100 juvenile delinquents will be sent back to Earth in hopes of possibly repopulating the planet. Well, let me tell you something. When they get back, they find these people, and they are called the Grounders. The Grounders have r rare DNA. Oh, really? Huh. Rare DNA like what? Would you say like R RH negative? Oh, that's weird. Considered to be like Nephilim or something like that. Yeah, and in the movie they show them as like royalty, as like kings and stuff like that, and they're immune to radiation. Why are they immune to radiation? 
They come, they stumble upon another group. Actually, a scene from this: all these dead bodies. They've been stealing their blood, and they live in a facility. What's the facility called? It's called Mount Weather. Okay, this the only place that survived are the grounders with the with the rare blood, and then the facility called Mount Weather. This whole series literally makes you believe, like what? So Mount Weather, which is the, this is a bunker, okay? He admits, okay, channels to illicitly buy Chinese-made weapons, especially since FEMA already has what? Enormous arsenal tucked away beneath Mount Weather, the agency's primary base of operations. Primary base of operations underground for FEMA. This is their contingency plan. That's Rex 84, straight up. Rex 84. Everybody thinks martial law. Don't worry about martial law. You ain't got to worry about martial law, okay? You worry about Rex 84. What do they need for martial law? This is what should be scaring the hell out of all of us. For martial law to be declared, they will need the signature. What does the pre president need? He needs the signature of the attorney general. Well, who's the attorney general? Oh, you mean Bill Barr that they're asking to resign that Trump brought back as buddy buddy? In case he needs a signature on a couple of things? Yes, you're getting it. Thank you for paying attention. So this is it. The plane is called Rex 84, short for readiness exercise of 1984. Why was it done in 1984? Because George Orwell's 1984 is where they take over and slowly integrate a mass surveillance and depopulation. They're letting you know, yeah, it's 84, baby. It's 84, baby. We're going to take you all out. That's what this is. Uh, uh, undisclosed number of concentration camps were set in operation throughout the United States for internment and dissidents and other potential harmful uh, to the state. Yeah, we know this. So look what happened. U.S. FEMA concentration camps. I don't even need to go there. I just told you Mount Weather was their base. Mindful, there's over 800 prison camps in the U.S. People don't want to believe that there are these concentration camps. Where do you think they house the illegal immigrants that are coming to our country right now? They put them at one of these facilities. We have them all over. These are also known as AKA storm shelters. Uh, AKA um, sh shelters. Storm shelters. Uh, what else they got? You can also go see K Operation Cable Splicer and Garden Plot, which are the two sub programs which will be implemented when once the Rex 84 program is initiated okay uh, what I want to do is do this what does government need to declare martial law a signature from Bill Barr that's what they need let's see what it is I know I'm coming I'm coming back so look right here we got this not to be confused with martial law for other uses see hey martial guys. law just a hey do you have a good day let me hug please but I make mm. did I, what that was so right here what we got is what they're saying that we need for martial law has also been imposed during conflicts they're saying that it could be done American Civil War. There's martial law. Confederate state in America during uh, the Reconstruction Era, World War II. Martial law. Uh, martial law or military justice to civilians. All of this stuff is, it, it can be done. Um, where, I'm looking for martial law, 1970, October crisis of 1970, Canada. Uh, where is it saying what they need? I don't need to see Egypt, Iceland, Iran. Let's back up. Sorry, guys. Let me get this. Martial law in the United States. Wikipedia. Martial law in the United States. That's all I need to do is show you this. They need the. He needs the uh, signature of the Attorney General. Any standing president. I don't care what it is. And it only has to be national emergency. It doesn't have to be. Martial law can be declared. Yeah, let's see. Uh, 
let's go back here. I want to go back up to the Wikipedia. What does the government need to declare martial law? Martial law is the implementation of direct or military control. I know this. Constitutional topic, martial law, the U.S. Constitution. What can a president do during martial law? They can seize all of our bank accounts. They can take our money. They can take your car. I told you all of this on the, the orders that they have for Rex 84 for FEMA. The constitutional topics pages at the U.S. Constitution Net site. Articles 1. Martial law is not explicitly mentioned in the Constitution, but the suspension of habeas corpus is mentioned in Article 1. And the activation of the militia in time of rebellion or invasion is mentioned in Article 1, Section 8. The topic page for military justice may also be in test. First off, we don't live in a society where our Constitution is taking place. Martial law, uh, I can hear. Uh, that might be better just to show you guys that. <laughs> Eighteen ninety three Constitution of the Hawaiian Kingdom Constitution District of Columbia. Sorry, guys, I'll be getting off here in a second. I just want to show you this last thing. That's uh, not Google owners. Of Empire, the Vatican, the Crown, and the District of Columbia. Yes. They're the powerhouses. The, the Hidden Empire. Where's the District of Columbia versus Heller? Yeah, that is a good one there. Electronic filing and court records. District of Columbia. Let's see this. The case management. Case electronic file. Pacers. Come on, babe. Hidden Empire, District of Columbia, United States, and the Vatican and the Crown. Anyway, 1871. Owners of the Empire. We have lost since I entered politics. I have. Chiefly had men's views, confident uh, to me privately. Some of the biggest men in the United States in the field of commerce and manufacturing are afraid of something. That they know that there is a power somewhere so organized, so subtle, so watchful, so interlocked, so complete, so pat, pervasive, that they had better not speak above their breath when they speak in commendation of it. Woodrow Wilson. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Here's a good example. Still think that we don't have someone else controlling us outside of our government? Then how come the Vatican, the London, and the Washington Monument? These are three monuments for both, all of these cities. Can't say that the obelisk in Washington, the Washington Monument, isn't the main monument in Washington. Can't say the same thing about uh, London or the Vatican. Is their main? It's the main thing they have. Uh, where the Council on Foreign Relations, such as Freemasons. Here we go. We're gonna get it right here. The Patriot Acts, Security and Prosperity Partnership. That's what I think I'm looking for. The Empire of the City. The Rails Republic. David Ike. Here, let's just go here. We'll go here. This has all been done. The Committee of 300, Bilderberg and Trilateral Commission, Royal Institute of International Affairs, and then Council on Foreign Relations. Zionist British Hereditary Monarchs. Meet the money power.